What up, what up, what's going on, man? This is Just Give Me, and I'm just about to bring y'all a build video for one for a season two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many seasons we got for 2K22? All right, now if you're looking for a big that could dunk and that could defend and that could slick shoot. You came to the right place. Now, if you look at my last video, my last video was the glass cleaning finisher that can shoot threes. Glass cleaning finisher that can shoot threes. Just let that sink in. I got the footage for it. Like, I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting there playing with them. Matter of fact, if you look throughout the video, I have the clips playing right here. And you can just peep him green lighting. Now, you got to think about this. He was green lighting with a 53 pointer, nine shooting badges, and he had his shot meter still on. So you understand, you take that shot meter off, you're getting more boost. Now, at the same time, we play with a two way playmaker, so he might have had diamond on silver, gold. I don't think he had a Hall of Fame. And then he might have had floor general, but he couldn't. You know, it, it all depends, but do your part by getting the three, you know, those nine shooting badges. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you set this up. Now, what you just saw is how he created it, all right? And you know how I do. I see how you create it, then I find a way to make it better or make it for me. Now, let's talk about these 23 finishing badges. It's essential that you have unstrippable on because I'm the type of guy that's gonna use that pit pocket and gonna take it every time you come down that lane. Every time you wanna go up, swipe. Swipe, let me get that. Let me get that too. Every time, like, I got pit pocket on gold, and a lot of times, I'm getting steals. Now, I can tell you this. I went against a dude, I think we was doing a matchup. And, man, I was spamming. And it, I was only getting fouls. I'm like, bro, why I can't, why I can't get the ball from him? Check this card he had on strip, strippable on. That's a badge that you need. I know it's not a get badge that, that's pretty sexy and stuff like that, but I'm telling you, it's nothing more frustrating than going on pro am and, and walk on and trying to dunk and then trying to dunk on somebody, get a contact dunk, and you get stripped. And then you get stripped again. And then you get stripped again. Trust believe, I'm coming. And you know, a lot of times, a lot of us guards down there, all we're doing is spamming square. Because we can't block you, but we're going to spam square. So. Again, you might not be a fan of using drop stepper, but you know, you know, put that in your repertoire. Now, the shooting badge, you only get nine of these things. So I'm definitely using catch and shoot first, okay? And after using catch and shoot, I'm definitely using uh, sniper. Def sniper helps out. So sni sniper on silver, corner special on silver, high zone hunter on silver. Or you could take catch and shoot off. Maybe you want to do uh, limited spot up. I don't think you need to because he was grinning and he didn't need to. Uh, blinders, you wouldn't need blinders because trust me, you're going to be shooting wide open because please believe you are a glass clean finisher. Nobody knows who you are. Now with the one playmaker badge, uh, you could go quick first up or you could do unpluggable. Uh, I just say try both because I like both. You know, I like to get unpluggable so you grab a rebound walk on, you're not getting spammed. Then at the same time, you are a glass clean finisher. That quick first step on bronze does make a difference. But again, like everything flows together. Like you don't have a lot of ball handling, so you might not see that boost like you're supposed to. Mm, so it, it all depends. Now the, on the defensive end, definitely gotta use the pit pocket. Please guys, if you have all these defensive badges, there's no reason why you don't have tireless defender on bronze. At least have it on bronze. I mean, you gotta think about it. You're gonna be running around the court all day long on defense you want to have enough energy to be effective you don't want to be flashing red because then when you're flashing red on defense you're going to be flashing red on offense so let's stop flashing red like gatorade ain't gonna save your player from being tired that's just what it is man you know the gym rat badge is not gonna save your player from being tired that's just what it is so this is the second way i was trying to now this is the way i was trying to uh, manipulate the build right so I didn't use I didn't go with the whole 20 defending because I'm trying to figure out how can I get playmaking right so you had to put all this stuff up just for two playmaking badges that's not worth it 
Because, look, you got a 57 ball handle. You got a 67 pass accuracy. I'm like, it just, it just, that's too much to go on one category. You only get two badges. So, it's like, all right, well, look, we're going to be the play. We're still going to get now shooting. We're going to get that one playmaking. Uh, we might even just throw in at 23 finishing. And maybe, I think we end up doing, like, 21 defending. Um, like I said, it's a good build. Uh, definitely looking for something that you know you want to just go to the park have a good time uh, wrap up real quick yeah this is this is the one because remember you got Hall of Fame finisher and Hall of Fame defense so you can stop people at the same time you can cancel those lobs the lobs are going to you all those XP much quicker so let's see this is what I did so now with what he did you saw that he didn't touch no playmaking so he had like a 40 something passing and honestly i don't feel like you could be effective with 40 anything anything you well 40 gets you 40 barely get you something in that gas tank think about that so if anything man yeah you don't have to have all those 21 defender badges man 20 is good where you at but you definitely, I definitely had to jack up that passing, man. Because at the same time, now I got 60 passing. You got a pluggable to use. You got quick first stuff to use. Or just throw bullet pass from there. Bullet pass is a, is a, a, a central bass to use. Now, with him, he did go 6'9". I look at it like, man, why not go 6'8"? Look at that 94 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. Add 5. Your standing dunk is 99. Your driving dunk is probably gonna be at a uh, 98. That's enough of that's enough of content. And look at it, Evan Mobley. He's probably might be rookie of the year. John Collins, Johnny Collins. You know he always put people on the poster. And then you got the legendary Sean Kemp. So you you get Sean Kemp with your 6'8", Rain Man. But if you kept him at 6'9". He would have been Kenyon Martin. It's crazy because Kenyon Martin got a son in the league now, so that's a dunker. But like I said, I I like the slash and takeover for this build because at least you're gonna get them blow bys. And then when they fall back on you, like they normally would, shoot the jumper. You got nine shooting badge, take your time, knock that thing down. So this is just give me, man. Look into this build, man. A glass clean finisher. It's definitely something that you need to do, man. Definitely. Especially he can shoot. He can shoot with a 50-something three. Woo-wee. I'm out.